The following content may contain images and triggers that some may find disturbing. Gimme Shelter is a book that looks at ordinary men and women who have worked in extraordinary circumstances and the effect it has had on themselves and their families. Men and women in different theatres of conflict over different decades, such as Don Barnby, an elite soldier who fought with the SAS during the Vietnam War. Don was a country boy who was suddenly in the biggest event of his generation. He turned 21 while patrolling in the jungle. After 11 days patrolling the jungle, this is the face of combat. We look at another Vietnam veteran, Lachlan Irvine, who was in the battles of Coral and Balmoral. Thrown through the air by an exploding mortar, he spent decades fighting for others as the head of the Vietnam Veterans Association of Australia. He lost a good friend in Vietnam. He was a mate, a real good mate he was, a friendly sort of fella, liked a joke. And if it had to happen, it's a shame it had to happen to such a decent bloke. We connect with the relatives and friends of those who have been killed as a result of doing their work. Like Paul Stewart, whose brother Tony Stewart was one of the Balibo Five journalists killed in East Timor. Jackie Canizaro's husband Brian was a firefighter with Red Hook's Ladder 101 in Brooklyn. He was one of the first firefighters at the World Trade Centre and died when the South Tower collapsed on September 11, 2001. Jackie's life changed forever that morning. Sister Irene McCormack, an Australian nun educating and feeding the poor in Peru, who was murdered by a communist guerrilla group. Working in territories quite different from home, they faced populations that both supported them and attacked them. There are stories connected to the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, where the dangers of IEDs, improvised explosive devices, and attacks from insurgents resulted in many Australian injuries and fatalities. I cover the stories of foot soldiers, intelligence officers, our first ever female combat photographer, to a combat engineer whose job it was to clear IEDs. Gary Wilson was working with two commando and was in a Black Hawk helicopter crash. Three Australian Special Forces soldiers and one American soldier were killed. Gary was one of the 10 that survived and who were all critically injured. His struggle from a coma to mobility is worthy of a commando. David Savage was working with communities in Afghanistan when he was targeted by the Taliban. He survived a suicide bomb attack carried out by a child. The shrapnel that remains in his body means he is in a wheelchair and struggles with his post-traumatic stress disorder. We hear the story of Jani Pote, a mother whose son Robbie Pote was killed in Afghanistan. We cover two stories of women at war, exceptionally skilled soldiers whose battles continue. Kyle Wilson received the commendation of gallantry for his actions in a contact with the Taliban. His bravery helped protect his brothers, but his adjustment back into civilian life has been a longer battle. We tell the stories of those helping those battle with trauma they have experienced. Police officer Alan Sparks received the highest civilian award for his bravery, and Sean Fitzgerald, who runs the PTSD unit at St John of God. Both help those struggling with the burden of their trauma. Most of the subjects in my book are the best of the best. Commended for their bravery, gallantry, skills and intelligence, and yet they are struggling to cope. Gimme Shelter highlights these brave people and their amazing stories. The guns are now silent. Gimme love, gimme a chance, gimme shelter. <laughs>